Ladder gliding is a weird trick which lets you jump higher than normal. It works by using a game mechanic which prevents you from bouncing off ladders while holding jump. In this video, we are going in depth on ladder gliding, talking about its origins, how to do it, its uses and some technical stuff. So sit back and enjoy. Back in November 2021, a player named Dialight sent this clip to the Vanilla Casey Discord, after being sent a similar one by L9. It looked weird, but very cool since we had never seen anything like that before. People were really curious and wanted to know more about it. That clip even caused some drama and a cheater got pissed and started saying very nice things as a result. Ladder gliding was allegedly already known and was being kept a secret by those cheaters. They probably got upset when it was leaked. Anyway, we quickly learned how to do it and started to look for maps where this could be useful. Casey Oasis? Nope, too high. Brick block? Nope, too far and high. Good luck P perhaps? Nope, no luck either. <laughs> then, a map stood out. KZ module. It had one impossible ladder jump around the corner. Or so we thought. <gasps> oh my god, it's possible. And this is totally the real reaction. That same day, Daylight got the first ever vanilla finish on module and the clips were shared. With all of that, ladder gliding was born. Since then, some maps which forced this mechanic were created, and other maps such as Timescape became easier to do. Firstly, you need to run approximately parallel to the ladder. Once you're in front, release W and hold jump plus A or D depending on the ladder. Your goal is to get as close as possible to the maximum glide time, which is 0.2 seconds. If you keep bouncing off with 270 pre, you're starting too early and exceeding those 0.2 seconds. Otherwise, you can start ladder gliding earlier to try to get as close as possible to those 0.2 seconds. Some important notes, you don't need to run parallel to the ladder, you can run slightly into it. Second, you can vary your height by varying how early or late you start ladder gliding. More glide time equals more height. Thirdly, in vanilla, lower pre before the ladder glide is preferred if you need to turn sharply. And finally, if you want max height, perfect or early W release is critical because you don't grab the ladder on the first tick while holding W. To help you achieve max height, this ladder glide bind could help you. This is for left pre ladder glides. If you want to do right pre, replace move left by move right. The spine includes W release and can get you banned on some servers. Not globally banned, just server banned. Ladder gliding comes in handy in a number of maps such as Kizzy Module, where the only way to do the map is to ladder glide around a corner. Timeskip Zero, where you can avoid quite a hard ladder jump by ladder gliding. Vanilla Crimson, which forces quite a few hard ladder glides. Vanilla Farewell, which forces quite a few easy ladder glides. And finally, Casey Herb Adrup, where there's a ladder glide skip, which is quite hard. It can save you some time if you're willing to do this in a run. Ladder gliding is less useful in other modes, despite max heights and mechanics being the same. This is because ladder jumping is already good enough for most applications, as the max speed is much higher in KZ TOS KZ compared to vanilla. Plus, it's easier to strafe and turn due to the higher air acceleration. However, ladder gliding can still be forced by varying the offset, distance, and head clearance. After consulting with the biggest brain I know in KZ and being explained like I'm 10, I've come to the conclusion, and by I, I mean zero, 
that ladder gliding happens due to a jump cooldown that the player gets when contact with a ladder is made. To be specific, the cooldown is 0.2 seconds after you touch a ladder. This is hard coded into the game to prevent players from instantly bouncing off ladders on contact if they hold jump for too long. This code, along with the fact that the game allows you to keep your momentum, is what makes ladder gliding what it is. Ladder gliding basically gives you zero gravity for 0.2 seconds. The basic principle of ladder gliding is to never exceed 0.2 seconds of glide on any given ladder. For example, assuming that you keep a constant velocity of 250 units per second, the maximum ladder width that would allow you to get the full 0.2 seconds of glide would be 50 units in theory. But due to the size of your player model, which is 32 units wide, the widest ladder you can fully glide on is only 18 units wide, or 50 minus 32. This is because the 0.2 seconds timer starts as soon as any part of your hitbox touches a ladder brush, and only stops once your player hitbox completely leaves it. With this in mind, you can still ladder glide for 0.2 seconds on thinner ladders, provided that you go slow enough. In all of those cases, the airtime is the same, but the horizontal velocity is different. So, 0.2 seconds is the maximum glide time. More than that, and you will bounce off. Lower than that, and you will get less height. How much less height, you ask? Well, it's complicated. Since your vertical velocity when jumping is about 298 units per second, you would travel 298 units in one second, or in 120 ticks. This means that you would lose 2.33 units, or 298 divided by 128 units of height for every tech you're off the perfect ladder glide timing. This makes it quite annoying to get maximum height, which is 125.56 units crouched. We found that due to tech rate, the maximum heights that you can get behave in a discrete way, meaning that there are set maximum height numbers that you can achieve and cannot get numbers in between. We tested other ways to ladder glide and we found that ladder gliding while holding the CJ bind showed the worst results, with 9 units less compared to no binding. Jump bugging into a ladder gave the highest height at 125.77 or 0.21 units more than no binding. However, it is not consistent and incredibly hard to achieve this height in practice as you would have to jump bug on a very specific spot and immediately start to ladder glide after the jump bug. The maximum possible height with a jump bug is unknown. B hopping into a ladder glide was not tested as it was getting way too annoying, but higher horizontal velocity will make you go further. Finally, holding W while starting to ladder glide will make your max achievable height be around 1.27 units less as you start grabbing the ladder one tick later, causing you to start ladder gliding with a slightly lower vertical velocity. This makes a perfect or early W release critical to get max height. Making an infinite ladder glide is impossible due to the spacing required between the ladders to reset your 0.2 seconds glide limit. You will stop experiencing the zero gravity effect the moment you get off the ladder. However, you can make a pretty big and long ladder glide by making your ladders 18 units thick and spacing them by 2 units, provided that your horizontal velocity is very close to 250 units per second when you glide. For higher velocities, say 275 units per second, the gap needs to be increased to about 2.14 units to give a chance for the player to reset the ladder glide timer assuming constant velocity.
In conclusion, Ladder Gliding has more uses in vanilla compared to KZT or SKZ due to the more doo-doo ladder properties. The Ladder Glide timer is the most important thing to look at when ladder gliding since it is what determines your max height. If you keep bouncing off ladders, you need to start ladder gliding later. Otherwise, you can start earlier until you start bouncing off again. Hopefully this video provided you with a better understanding of what ladder gliding is and how to do it. Huge thanks to Zero, Dialight and Smeeze, and thank you for watching.